Edmonton, my name is Joanne and I'm here to tell you all about raising hens in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In this video, we'll be talking about ensuring your family stays healthy and safe from your flock. Safety for your family involves preventing the spread of disease, following food safety guidelines, and wearing personal protective equipment. Infectious disease can spread from poultry to people. One of the serious diseases is avian influenza. It has happened. People risk contracting avian influenza if they're in direct contact with infected live birds or have had close contact with a person infected with avian influenza. If you are working with poultry, you should get an annual flu shot. If you have the flu, avoid doing chores in your coop. If you suspect illness in your flock, contact your veterinarian immediately. To prevent the spread of disease, use biosecurity measures by using dedicated equipment and washing your hands. There are also foodborne illnesses that you can get from contaminated meat and eggs. Foodborne pathogens, which are bacteria, virus, or any microorganism that can cause a disease, that are common in poultry are Campylobacter and Salmonella. However, there are less common foodborne pathogens that can contaminate poultry and eggs. These pathogens include Listeria, Staphylococcus, and Clostridium perfringens. Now, I could talk all day about these pathogens, but I won't bore you with the details. But if you are interested, I've attached a document containing more information. The big takeaway from all these, the one prevention that you can do is to wash your hands before and after you do anything that has to do with your flock. This includes touching your birds, handling feed, chicken housing, materials, and equipment. Another method of prevention is to cook your food to a safe internal temperature. Most foodborne illnesses can be prevented by following some simple food safety measures. This doesn't apply to just the eggs laid by your hens, but can be applied to any food that you cook at all. So as you can see, you can avoid most of these foodborne illnesses by proper hygiene and food handling practices. The guidebook Raising Chickens in Alberta provided five steps you can take to protect you and your family from foodborne illness. I attached a list below. Another important method you and your family can take is to have good personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is designed to protect you from injury and illness. In a poultry coop, PPE includes safety mask, long sleeve coveralls, plastic gloves, steel toed or rubber boots, safety goggles, and a hairnet. To decrease the risk of bringing bacteria, bugs, and disease from your chicken coop into your home, have specific boots dedicated for your chicken house. Place clean boot washers at the entrance of your coop, wash your hands, and wear proper personal protective equipment when handling your flock. Above all else, if there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's to ensure proper hygiene and good food handling practices. And always wash your hands! Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned a thing or two about handkeeping in Edmonton. Special thanks to the Poultry Research Center and the Government of Alberta for providing the information in their manual, Raising Chickens in Alberta. They put out a great amount of resource for you to use and almost all the information on my video are from them. I placed a handout containing a list of common pathogens in poultry and five steps you can take to protect you and your family from foodborne illness. These handouts are a summary from the manual itself, but you can also download the full manual online. Thanks everyone!